So I'd like to jump right into the consultation process because it's one of the things that I found to be the most intimidating when I was going to start looking for a wig in 2012. I wanted to go to see the wig in person, but I was kind of like embarrassed. I didn't know what it would be like. Um, And then so I ended up doing online wig ordering, which was interesting (laughs) and challenging. And I know nowadays a lot of people do online wig ordering and stuff like that. But in my my opinion, it's best if possible to do the in-person consultation, but I know it's not always possible. You do work with people like out of state, right? Yes, I do. So it can be done. People do it. But if somebody is coming in for a consultation, um, what, what, what should they expect or what is it like? So if they're coming in, if it's the first time for consultation, usually I want to do a phone conversation, Mm -hmm. right? So to discuss what it is they're looking for. Um, this way you can, I can also have things already ready for them that I think would be something they would like or close to their color, close to their length, because it's really intimidating, especially Mm -hmm. if you're to put on hair, Mm -hmm. if you're putting it on for fun, it's one thing, but when you're putting it on because you're trying to, because you've, you're losing yours or you've lost yours and you're trying to replace it in Mm -hmm. a sense, um, it can be very intimidating and scary. 100%. And if it's not your right color. It's, he, ho- it's even worse. It's even more. <laughs> it's even going to be more scary. <laughs> right. So I always try to figure out what it is they're looking for. And yeah. then also, you know, there's there's different types of wearing hair. So you have top pieces. Mm-hmm. You have wigs. Um, there's also extensions, but that's a completely different you should, story. You should actually just tell people first, I should say, what a top piece is. Because I assume people naturally know what a topper is, mm-hmm. but they actually don't. So there are wigs, which are which is what I'm wearing. That's what everybody knows. But what exactly is a topper or a top piece? So a topper, top piece is pretty much the top of the wig. So it's usually a round piece that will sit on top of the hair. Mm -hmm. So you can clip it in, you can glue it in, you can tape it in. Mm -hmm. There's different ways to put it in. Um, But most people, what they'll do is they will clip it into their hair. So this way they take it off at night. Right. Um, You know, just like with wigs, you can also glue them on Mm -hmm. if you wanted to. But most people I work with uh, take them off every night. So same with the top pieces. So it's for women who are thinning on top. Right. Extensions at the end of the day can only do so much on the the bottom, but they can't fill the top of the head. Okay. So they're letting people know it's covering the top. It's covering the top. Not full coverage like a wig, just laying over the top, almost like a pumpkin top. With yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, almost like you're you're the pumpkin top of hair. Yeah, exactly. But it actually looks good. It's not like a pumpkin top. Like no, you know, you know, <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, uh, there's different ranges, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe some, maybe some actually look like the pumpkin top. Um, okay, so so you find out what their what their needs are, what they're looking yeah. for. Full coverage, exactly. less coverage, and, or they don't know. Yeah, right. So a lot of people don't know. So then it would be coming in and trying on the top piece and wig. Mm-hmm. Um, and seeing what works for them. So some people go straight into a wig, mm-hmm. which I think you did. Totally. Be- right? Because due to the sensitivity of the topper, the clips, yeah. my scalp was just like, oh, heck no. And yeah, so I so, went with the wig. So some people jump right into a wig, which I have to say is not very often. Oh, really? So um, I'm, yeah. I'm the strange one, <laughs> as usual? Well, because <laughs> usually the top piece is kind of like the like the next step, you know? Right. It's like everything gets kind of done in steps. Yeah, it's entry level. It's, it's entry level. Yeah. I'd say ex- extensions are probably entry, entry oh, level. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, entry, um, yeah. But nowadays it's such a fashion thing. Like every people don't find them to be weird. But back in the day, you know, you didn't say you had extensions. Mm-hmm. Right. It was a hush hush thing. That's a good point. Yeah. And now people put extensions and it's like having a purse, you know, like I have this brand. Right. And it's fat and it's fashionable. And it's fashionable. And it's like it's like a quality thing. Yeah. Yeah. So then the top piece is kind of the next step. And it's not so hard for people to get into a top piece if they've played with extensions. Right. Because they're used to now having already hair that's not theirs. Mm hmm. Um, but a lot of people haven't played with extensions. Right. You know, so putting on a top piece is also very, it's different, you know, and it's something that sits on top of the head mm-hmm. um, and they can get very sensitive to it. So if their hair is sensitive, if their head is sensitive to the clips, then most likely a top piece is not the right way to go. But right. I like to just have them, if they're not really sure, it's about them deciding. Mm-hmm. So come in, they try it on and they see what works for them. Right. Because, you know, maybe a top piece is all they need, but they just... They don't feel comfortable in it. Yeah, I think that I would have been able to technically go to a top piece mm-hmm. when I when I went in 2012. However, um, that just wasn't an option due to the sensitivity. But I think that would have uh, been based on my hair level at the time. I think that the top piece would have been what people would be like, oh, you should get a top. Yeah, wig. like, yeah, people might be like, why did you just jump right, right. into a wig? And, yeah. you know, I have people like that. 
And then it's also the opposite. There's people who wear toppers, you know, and they have um, they just go bigger and bigger and bigger because they don't. It's hard for them to actually transition from a topper to a wig. And so that's the other part that people don't know about top pieces or toppers. They come in different base sizes. So yeah. they're going to expand. The pumpkin top is getting larger <laughs> over your larger. head. Right? Eventually it becomes a wig. And eventually <laughs> the, the, it grows and grows and grows until you're a full pumpkin. Until you're a full pumpkin. Until you're me. <laughs> exactly. So and you have a wig on your head.